So the FDA granted emergency use authorization to the drug remdesivir after a clinical trial showed it reduced the recovery time for seriously ill patients by 31%. So what's next for this drug and how will the manufacturer meet what is expected to be a heavy demand, not just here, but around the globe? Remdesivir was developed to fight Ebola. It didn't work, but the research gave scientists a head start against coronavirus. Remdesivir is an IV medication that appears to help block the virus's ability to hijack our cells to reproduce itself. That discovery could lead to other drugs. But there are a lot of other enzymes that the virus uses that are now going to be targets for this. Remdesivir was tested in severely ill patients, but other studies are underway in hospitalized patients that are only moderately sick. It's thought the drug has few side effects. Through the data we had in our trials in Ebola patients, we knew that the side effects were pretty minimal in, in patients and they were easily reversed when the medication was stopped. Gilead is also exploring different ways of giving the medicine to patients, including potentially as a shot or perhaps an oral inhaled version. That might allow doctors to treat patients earlier in the illness or even outside of the hospital. Gilead made the decision early to ramp up their ability to make the drug before knowing if it was going to be effective. It would appear that gamble has paid off. The company has gone from making around 5,000 treatment courses to producing almost 100,000. It believes it can produce millions of treatment courses by the end of the year. Gilead has donated the first 1.5 million doses of the drug. Their CEO says moving forward, they will continue to make sure the drug is accessible and affordable for patients who need it.